In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Girls Not Gray by AFI off of their album, Sing the Sorrow. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if AFI was your favorite emo band. And let's dive in. This song's gonna be in half step down tuning, so make sure you tune your strings down a half step. E to E flat, B to B flat, G to G flat, and so on. The song will open up with a series of bar chords. So this is what I played in the intro. We have this A major bar chord. Let me come up here to this shape. The shape here is eighth fret, sixth string, eighth fret, fifth string, and then 10th fret, fourth, third, and second. So it's kind of like this major chord shape, but we're including the eighth fret of the sixth in the root. Next chord's a G major. And we come back up to that A minor. I'm not gonna break down the fingering for every major and minor bar chord. Hopefully you're already familiar with them. If you're not, I'll link to a video where I explain the different major and minor bar chord shapes. So now we're back here at that A minor. We're gonna move up to the same second chord. This time what we'll do is come up here. So we'll hold this same shape, come up here to the 10th fret. And then we'll do this a-shaped minor bar chord on the 12th fret of the fifth string. So all together, the chords that we have so far, and the right hand rhythm will go something like this. So that's down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Now right here, what we'll do So we'll move into power chord shapes now. We're on the eighth fret of the sixth string. Slide the index finger down to seven. So we have, then go down to power chord, third fret, sixth string, and then power chord, fifth fret, sixth string. There is a small lead part over top of those chords. So about halfway through, this lead part kicks in with this. And then it joins up those power chords. So that's just single note picking, starting on the seventh fret of the third string, hammer on nine, then down to four, hammer on five. And back to four, and to five on the fourth string, slide up to seven. Repeat, then join up with the power chords. 
At this point, we're into the verse, and the verse is gonna use these chord shapes. Okay, so the chords that we're using here, we're gonna be letting the open A string ring out for most of the time. And we have seventh fret of the fourth string and fifth fret of the third. Then we're gonna go fifth fret of the fourth and seventh fret of the third. Slide that down, third fret of the fourth, fifth fret of the third. And then that'll end fifth fret of the fourth, fourth fret of the third. So, so far we have this. And then we start to repeat, same chords. Now this time what we'll do is just move the index finger down to the fourth fret. And then back to third fret, fourth string, fifth fret, third string. So all together that part. The right hand rhythm in that section is just this, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. At this point, the vocals kick in and we're officially into the verse. We'll play the same chord structure, just palm muting. And then we'll repeat that structure, but take the palm mute away. So now we're just letting them ring out again. Now at this point, what we'll do is we'll come up to seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string. Still let that open A string ring out. Then up to ninth fret, fourth string, 12th fret, third string. 10th fret, fourth string, back down to ninth fret. So that section. And we kick into this palm muted A power chord. And then we kick into the chorus. The chorus will sound like this. So in the chorus, we're using the same chords that we used in the intro, we're just going in a little different order. So in the intro, we were doing this. This time, what we're gonna do is start here. Okay, so we have that second chord that we use in the intro, that's eighth fret, sixth string, eighth fret, fifth string, and then 10th fret, fourth, third, and second. And then we kick into this major bar chord shape on the eighth fret. Then down to the G major bar chord, third fret. And then the A minor bar chord, fifth fret. And we'll just repeat that pattern several times in the chorus. So we just repeat this structure. Right here, what we'll do is we'll go down to an E major open chord. Then we'll come up to this E power chord on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And then we come up to this octave swiping 
on the 14th fret of the fifth. So coming out of that chord structure in the chorus, Now we'll play a second verse and a second chorus exactly the same as the first. And then we kick into the breakdown. So the first part of this bridge section will just be changing the chord structure. So it'll sound like this. So that's just another sequence of bar chords. So we have this minor bar chord shape, fifth string, fifth fret. And we have this major bar chord shape, third fret, fifth string. So that's like a power chord, but we include the second fret, fifth string. Then this G major bar chord. And then that A minor bar chord we've been using. So we'll repeat that pattern a couple of times. Right here, we'll come up to 7th fret, 6th string, 10th fret, 5th string. Then first finger moves up to 8th fret. to this shape that we've used before. So that's 10th fret, 6th string, 10th fret, 5th string, and then 12th fret, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd. Then that minor shape on the 5th string, 12th fret. And then back down and repeat the pattern. And then we end that little sequence on that G major chord. And then we enter the slower half of the bridge section. I'll play through this breakdown section. It sounds like this. So we have this chord shape here that's just seventh fret, fourth string. 5th fret, 3rd string, and then we'll also be using open 1st and 2nd. The rhythm is this. So that's 4th string, 1st string, 2nd string, then 4th string, 1st string, 2nd string, 3rd string. And we'll change chords, and this chord isn't so much a chord, we're just gonna put our first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then play open first, second. So we have this. We start to repeat. This time, instead of putting your finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, you'll put it on the sixth fret of the fourth string. And then open for second. So all together so far, we have this. We start to repeat. Now here what we'll do is 5th fret, 4th string, open 1st, 2nd, then 4th fret, 4th string, open 1st, 2nd, and then 2nd fret, 4th string, open 2nd. So all together so far in the breakdown, let's play through what we have.
Now we'll kick into a part that's almost identical, but it's played an octave higher. So we'll come up here, and the fingering for this part will be a little different because we're higher up the neck, but the part will sound like this. So what we're doing there is we have 14th fret, third string, 13th fret, second, 12th fret, first. So that's third string, then first string, second string, third string, first string, second string, and then third string twice. Then what we'll do is we'll just bar the 12th fret, first through third strings, and then play third string, first string, second string. So we have this so far. Then we'll start to repeat. So we'll play that same part. Now here, what I'll do is I'll put my pinky on the 15th fret of the first string. And that'll be the pattern now. We have first string, third string, second string, third string. Same pattern here, but what I'm gonna do is bar the first and second strings with my middle finger. Okay? And then we go first string, third string, second string, third string. So that part, all together slow. We'll repeat that several times, and then we come out of the bridge with this. So when we're coming out of the bridge, we're doing octave swipes, Fifth string starting on the 12th fret. So that's just 12th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret. And then we kick into the last chorus the same as the others. Outro of the song is the same as the intro riff. Was Girls Not Gray the best emo song of the 2000s? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls.